miss me? Cause I didn't miss you. Sir, um, I think my gun broke. Don't worry, kid, I got this covered. Harvester Leviathans are a lot bigger than I imagined. It's not the size, kid. It's how you use it. I once killed a clear with a nail clipper. These things, are they? Yep. The processed. Humans turned into cannon fodder for missile sport. Cute, aren't they? How, how can we help them? Apply bullets as needed. Now, you can also take out a Gnar with your bare hands, but for larger groups, go for a shotgun or assault rifle. If I had a gun, any gun. And remember, kid, Belchers explode, so stay clear of their barf radius. Barf radius? Look, it's not a scientific term, but it works for me. Sir, if I remember correctly, the map in the mission briefing showed an EDF storage facility just over this wall. Huh. Maybe I should start reading that stuff. Sir, um, I still don't have a gun, so... Please hurry up.
Hello folks, this is Bill Corey on Radio Free Earth with the news. In the ongoing Tunguska offensive, the EDF troops are being pushed back further toward Irkutsk. Meanwhile, we're four weeks into the occupation of France and we're starting to get reports of local resistance cells re-establishing communications with the EDF. Lord Ackerman, Mintel's chief lackey in Europe, continues being a dickhead, so that's not actually news. Now, <laughs> what's that doing there? Hold on. I'm getting an update. It looks like a fleet of Octanian raiders is zeroing in on... but usually when I pick up one of these things... Ah, there they are! that gate open? Because it is an advanced automatic security gate, of course. Who is that? It is I, Professor Gottlieb Kiesel, your scientific advisor. Guten Tag. 